Kamusta? Today, my wife and I will show you how to change the engine oil and filter on a Toyota Wigo. Ito yung mga kailangan natin. Take out the engine oil cap. Place the scissor jack under the jacking points on the right front side of the Vigo. Ilagay ang jack stand beside it and lower the scissor jack until the jack stand is the one carrying the weight of the vehicle. Put a mat and oil catch pan beneath the engine oil drain plug. Let's get our flex handlebar and shallow socket. Get under the wiggle and break the bolt loose by turning the flex handlebar counterclockwise. Remove the drain plug by hand. Hayaan tumulo ang langis right down to a drip. Clean the engine oil drain bolt, then remove the crush gasket. Initially, we would need a jack handle or a flathead screwdriver to separate it from the actual bolt before we can get it out by hand. Ilagay ang bagong washer. You can buy this from any Toyota dealer for less than 20 pesos. Ibalik ang drain bolt to the engine oil pan. We will hand tighten it before we torque it. We will now remove the old engine oil filter way down there. Turn it counterclockwise o pakaliwa. Fortunately, hindi na natin kinailangan gumamit ng locking wrench for this uh, oil filter. Tanggalin ng oil catch pan at mat from the undercarriage. Ihanda ang bagong engine oil filter. Don't forget to remove the plastic under it, otherwise you will not be able to install it. Put a little oil around the filter's rubber gasket so we can easily remove it when we need to change it again. Install it by turning the filter clockwise until you cannot hand tighten it anymore. Do not use a wrench or any other tool to tighten this. Tanggalin ang jack stand and scissor jack so we can put the vehicle on level ground. Using uh, measuring cups, let's find out how much oil did we get. We got 2 liters and 250 ml, so we need to put in 2 liters and 300 ml on this Wigo. Nagdagdag tayo ng kaunti since we are using a brand new filter. Put a funnel in the engine oil filler. Prepare the oil. Isali ng bagong langis. You can also use a regular oil or a blend of regular and synthetic. As long as tama yung oil grade, okay lang yun. We will use one of the uh, bottles to get that uh, extra 300 ml of oil that we need. Mm -hmm. 
remove the funnel, then uh, reinstall the oil cap. Take out the engine oil dipstick. Clean it using a paper towel, then insert it back in. Tanggalin uli ito so we can check the oil level on the stick. It should be between the low and high spots on the dipstick's oil level mark. If all is well, close the hood. Check for leaks coming from the oil drain bolt. Let's start the engine. Check the dashboard if we need to add more oil. According to the owner's manual, the engine oil should be replaced every 10,000 kilometers or 6 months, whichever comes first. But since we're using a full synthetic type, we can change the engine oil and filter again after 15,000 kilometers, more or less. For the oil viscosity grade, the owner's manual recommends either 0W20 or 5W30. You should also look for the API seal of approval sa mga langis na bibili natin. A big shout out to my wife, Catherine Bernardo, for helping me in this project. Wala, sobrang dali nga. Kailangan lang ng gamit siguro. Tsaka knowledge. Knowledge is power. I hope marami kayong natutunan and I hope you would take on the challenge to replace the engine oil and filter in your own vehicle by yourself. If my wife can do it, so can you. May God bless you and we'll see you soon.